going to jump into a close-in view here. I'm going to zoom out a little bit just so you get some perspective. This is southeast Massachusetts. Here we have Rhode Island, eastern Connecticut, Cape Cod's up here, Boston just off to the north. And uh, there was some wind damage uh, tied to what is believed to have been a gust NATO. We're going to talk about what a gust NATO is uh, in southeast uh, Massachusetts. You can see at 1047 last night, tree down. Uh, and with the same exact time, 1047 trees and wires down. The Weather Service in Boston uh, investigated the damage, and they believe this was caused by a gust NATO, which is kind of associated with a tornado, but it really isn't the same exact thing. Let's take a look at radar here for this event. And uh, again, this uh, is a, a, a radar loop that takes us through 7 p.m. to midnight uh, last night. And uh, there was a time right before 11 p.m. when this band of thunderstorms rolled through a line of thunderstorms east of the, the area of uh, Rhode Island and into far southern Massachusetts right there. When this front, there was a cold front tied to this, uh, produced something that kind of resembled a tornado, but it technically wasn't your traditional tornado. It was a gust NATO. So tornadoes are formed through an environment where there's a rotating updraft, and they generally form from the top down, where the circulation is uh, originates in the cloud, the base of the clouds, and it extends down to the surface. With a gust NATO, it's kind of the opposite. You typically have forcing near the surface, near the ground, that can lead to some convergence and some rotation and circulation. So it's surface-based, and it doesn't always extend all the way up to the clouds. So in this case, we talk about gust fronts, that really chilly push of cooler air, rain cooled air, uh, when there's a thunderstorm approaching. In this case, it may have been a true cold front that actually led to this zone of convergence and ultimately a little bit of a spin up.